just uh, recording a quick video here of all the stuff I've done with my 2014 Wildcat Trail. Uh, obviously I've got bigger tires and rims on it. They're uh, 14 inch rims, 28 inch Mega Mayhems. Front and rear. On the front I've went with a one inch spacer and the rims have a one inch offset. In the rear I have a one and a half inch spacer with a with the one inch offset on there. Um, I've got in there a four thousand pound Viper winch that is the wide spool that I had to build a new bracket to fit it because the uh, Wildcat comes ready for a regular narrow spooled winch, but I wanted the extra length of uh, synthetic line, so it gave me extra 15 feet of line. Uh, put, of course, the Arcticat grill on the front, the bumper, with some LED lights. I've just finished relocating my oil cooler to the top here with an aftermarket fan that I've wired into my, my stock fan. Because uh, where we go mudding, it gets packed in full of mud in behind there, and you can't you can't uh, cool the machine down enough. AJ's fender flares, uh, the the quarter windshield from Arcticat, the Arcticat plastic roof, uh, the full doors, of course the five horsepower Ost Cruiser sticker. I've uh, painted the the sides of it with the uh, some cheap box liner paint just to kind of darken it in a bit. HMF muffler, stock pipe but I have wrapped it and removed the exhaust shield but I have added in some extra uh, roll on heat shielding in there. Uh, I built my own lift bracket in the back Give me a extra couple inches of lift in the back with running really low compression on the springs. Uh, I don't know if you can see well up in here. I got an oil pressure sender and a low oil pressure shutoff that I've wired in. And I've got a braided cable line that comes all the way down underneath by the uh, engine mount here that uh, goes into the, where there was an actual low pressure light switch, but it uh, wasn't wired into anything. So I've placed that all in there. Uh, I've rerouted my tank vent that used to come out and just hang down here. It's actually gone across to the other side and up with the other stuff. Um, built my own rack for the back storage of my toolbox and lunch kit and all that stuff, straps. I've installed my own Boss stereo system in the top. I built my own buckets, speaker pods. So, um, interior wise, I've built my wife a piece of grating to put her feet on so it's a little less tiring. She can rest both her, both her feet properly. Over here I've got uh, heated grips on the passenger handles for her for when we're out in the winter time. It works great. She keeps her hands warm. I've put the uh, inch and a half risers in the seat. Just some aluminum channel, screw into the seat and back into the bracket. Um, put a four point harness in for the wife as well. I haven't got mine yet. Beard harness. You believe that? Pro armor, sorry. Pro armor harness. Um, snorkeled it in behind my driver's seat. So I've got two pipes running to the intake box and one pipe for the exhaust of the CVT and the intake of the CVT. I decided to put a bilge pump fan on just to give it more airflow for when we're doing some of the torquier low speed maneuvers. It puts a lot of heat on the belt. 
turning these tires and that muskeg and stuff. So I've got this pipe here runs down and into the air box to give it a second breathing point because you're dropping down from a two and a half inch to a two inch diameter pipe. So I figured it'd be best to go with a second pipe. So everything's all up inside and in behind. Uh, I've put grease zerks on everything. The factory doesn't come with grease zerks. Kind of annoying. My outer bushing's worn out within, I don't know, 450 kilometers. So that was pretty, pretty shit, if you, in my opinion. Um, I got my low oil pressure gauge here and this is the switch to bypass the low pressure shutoff so that I can still run the computer like it would if you would initially start it up and it runs its diagnostics. Otherwise the low pressure sender just goes right to start. Um, got in an extra auxiliary 12 volt point here so we can run our heated seats in the winter. I think that's about it. Oh, uh, just in case anyone is wondering why I snorkel it to up here, uh, that spot there is, I've got a panel over it, but that's the uh, stock air intake and CVT air in. So, with uh, stock measurements, I think it's like maybe 30 inches off the ground you know two feet to, th to 30 inches so not a lot for where we go all right hope you enjoyed that any questions pm me